In this video, we'll be talking about working with locators, parameters, and validations. Let's start by creating a new web test. Here we can select an application to start testing on or create a new application by providing the URL and how we'd like to name the application. Once we start recording, a new Chrome window with clear data will open. You can reshape and change the size of our order to any way you'd like, and you can also minimize it. You can create new steps by either adding them manually, hovering over elements, and freezing them and selecting them from the context menu or just interacting with a page as you normally would. For example, let's search for something on Google and notice the steps are going to be recorded. Each time you interact with an element on the page, it will be located with anywhere between three and 10 element locator strategies. This plays into the test project self-healing, where if your page is dynamic and changes, your locator will be self-healed with one of the additional strategies. For example, let's break this locator and run the test. As you can see, the element in step 2 is missing, being this text box. The element was self-healed. This text box is also used in step 3, so we're performing the self-healing again. As you can see, the steps succeeded, were colored yellow, meaning self-healed, and we received an indication of the new locator. You won't be prompted during execution. During execution, you'll just receive a notification in your report that self-healing was performed. But while recording, you can confirm. Inside your tests, you can also work with parameters. Let's parameterize the value in step 3. Let's select Use Parameter and create a new one. Let's call it Company Name and give it a value of Test Project. Parameters can be encrypted, hiding them from the UI and the reports. This is useful for secret values such as passwords. Parameters can also be input parameters, output parameters, or private, meaning neither of the two. Input parameters can be passed into the test for data-driven testing or while nesting tests inside other tests. Let's save and select it. You can also parameterize element locators. By using parameters while editing the locator strategy. Validations are another important part of test project. With validations, you can check that your page or application is currently in its expected state. These validations, like any other step, use the Test Project Adaptive Wait feature to give you the optimal execution time, but only waiting up to the defined time before failing the validation. For example, we can use this validation to check if the element contains we specified text. As we can see, the validation immediately passed. Let's give an example of the adaptive weight. Let's perform a validation on this text box.
let's once again search for test project. As you can see, the validation passed immediately once the text appeared in the text box. Once you're done recording the test, to execute it, simply hit the play button. From here, you'll be able to select which agent will be going to execute the test and which browser to execute on. These are all the browsers that the agent is currently detecting on your system. It'll handle the driver management for you. You can also execute on browsers from the two cloud device farm we have integration with, Sauce Labs and BrowserStack. But first, you'll need to integrate your account with them through the integration section. You can also select a mobile browser if you currently have a mobile device connected. This will run the web test on the mobile device.